friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to work on this bracelet. Well, not the bracelet exactly, but the knot, the way I made these bracelets. I made them the same way, they're just with different beads. This one's with different cord. So, I hope I am in the mind with you guys. There you go. Let's lighten you guys up. There you go. Better? Better. So we're going to learn to make this bracelet. So on this one, I used nylon cord, which is a uh, size 2. Like this one right here. Number 2. That would be it right here. This is the one I used, but in brown, which I have recently ran out of, but I was able to save enough for this video. So there you go. You can probably find this cord. I have purchased mine in Mexico, which was in Juarez. Juarez, Mexico. And it was really cheap there. So it was like two dollars, American dollars. Uh, a thir I think 36 pesos. But I know you can find this same cord in Michael's and it's called Beating Cord. I think. Because I think I saw it there. Let me see if I can find a sample. I don't think I know where. Sample on the way they look. Oh, there you go. It's really small. This is how it looks when you purchase it in Michaels. That's how small it is comparing to the size. Anyways, so there you go. That's same knot, same technique. I came up with this one and different beads. This is with hemp cord. In the middle, I have this cord which is the nylon beading cord so I can bead my pearls through and um, n not around them so it looks like a S that's how I did that same thing with this one just a different multicolor and same thing hip cord this one's just with different beads this, uh, this is, I call this one Dia de los Muertos. I wanted to add a bit of my culture, I am Mexican, to my shop. So I came up with this for Dia de los Muertos. If you guys want to um, see a video on how I made this particular bracelet, um, let me know in the uh, comments down below and I will definitely make you one if you want, but it's technically the same thing as this. So let's go ahead and get started. So here are the supplies that you're going to need for this project and also the inches that you need to cut for the strings that you need. Okay, first we're going to work on our loop. Okay. That's the first thing we're going to work on. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our nylon cord, bring it to the middle, we're going to bring our two ends together, and to the middle. Okay, we'll have that folded in half. We're going to leave that aside. Now you're going to grab your I'm losing it right now. Oh my goodness, did I forget how to make this? No, okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, so you're going to grab your end, okay, and you're going to measure it with this one, with your nylon cord. Nobody's perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. And I always make mistakes, but it's, oh, it's okay. You learn from them. So... 
You see your your hemp cord and your nylon cord folded in half. Your hemp cord is not. You bring it all the way to the end. Okay, you got it. Now you're gonna unfold your nylon cord. And you're gonna tie a knot right there. Not all the way, just a half knot. Like that. Okay? This is what's gonna hold the clip to it. Because believe me, it's gonna move a lot. Once you get the hang of it, it's going to move a lot. Okay guys, so we're gonna sorry. Sorry, sorry. This part right here, the shortest part, goes to the back. You're gonna grab your longest part, which was your longer side. You're gonna work on that side. Okay. I'm gonna make sure. Okay, so this one right here. You're gonna work on this one, on your nylon cord. Okay. And then backwards knot. Zoom out a little. Forward knot. Backwards knot. Forward. Sorry if it moves a lot. You want to make sure it's tight enough so it won't get loose. Backwards knot. Forward. Okay. I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay. Do it slow so you guys can see what a forwards knot and backwards knot looks like. Or you grab your string and it goes in there. You continue pulling, 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 pulling. There's better videos on how to on explaining this. I'm probably stink at it, but I hope you guys are having a laugh on how much I'm screwing up. Anyways, so now we're going to do the backwards knot, which is the opposite, okay? It's not over this time, it's going to go under. And then, in the loops. Can you pull? Ta-da! There you go. Now let's continue. Okay, um, fall under. I hate that when that happens. It stops my groove. Okay. There you go. Like I said, there's probably better videos on how to explain the knots. And 
I'm not the right person to do. I'll try to do a video, but right now, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm usually... I usually know what I'm talking about, but I guess not today. Okay. So this went over it, so I have to undo it and redo it again. And I need a needle. I think... No, I don't. There you go. Okay. By the way, we're making 20 of these to make the loop. And I'm not counting for some weird reason. So the way you know how many knots you've made, I must zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Okay. The way you know is you see each little loop here, these little loops right here, those are two knots. So you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you have 15 knots and 16. Oh my god, I'm stinking this video up today, aren't I? <laughs> Now we finished our loop. Well, we didn't finish our loop exactly. Um, we are going to undo the knot. We're going to close our loop together by making sure this right here is even out. It's not. So, what you're going to do, you're going to pull the smallest one over and then you're going to meet to the middle. Just pull it and I'll go through. There you go. You see? Good. And then you're going to just play with it. Make sure it's nice and pretty. Oh, look what I did. I'm always screwing things up. What I did. Oops. Okay. Now we're going to put it together. See how pretty it looks? It looks so nice. I'm going to clip that on the board. I'm going to grab your longest cord, which is this huge long hemp cord. And then you're going to, this whole bracelet is made with mixed knots. So you're going to, it's a great way to practice your mixed knots. So right now we're going to do a knot right here, four is not. Sorry, that was a backwards knot, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a backwards knot. And then you're going to do a 
forward knot. Just two. Just two knots. And then you're going to pick a string. You're going to pick one of your nylon strings and you're going to continue putting your beads in this string. Not this one, this one. Okay? You pick one and you stick with that one. This one here is just there to, I guess, to make this thicker and more visible. I don't know. I'm just. That's how I did it and that's how I figured it out. <laughs> is. Let's get, let's get doing it. <laughs> okay, so before you put our, our, our pearl, let's go ahead and put our pearl in so we can make sure we're doing the right amount of knots. E. I hate that when that happens. So your pearl is in. You want to make sure it goes around the pearl. You see that? It goes around the pearl. Well, not all the way around. Halfway around. Like an S. See? Like an S. Or an S. Okay, so we're just going to keep that as a visual. We're going to count how many knots we need for it to just to go halfway around. So we're going to go backwards, forward, backward, forward, Backwards. Forward. So we're going to stop and we're going to count how many knots we've had. You're not going to count the two knots you use to close the loop. So we're not going to count the first one. Or should we? No, we're not going to count that one. I think if we turn our pearl around, it would be better with that. So... Let's check it out. Hem cord is really hard, so you have to just play with it and, and mold it around the pearl. So what do you guys think? Two more? I think two more. Or one more. Two more. You see? You see that? Sorry, my finger's ugly. <laughs> you see that right here? Ah, oh, the darkness. I need light. Okay, so it's coming out from there. So what you're gonna simple, easy way of fixing that. You're just gonna pull it. You're gonna pull it through. Ta-da! Fixed. That's what happens sometimes. So yeah, it's gonna need at least one more or two more. Let's try two more to see how it looks. If not, we'll just undo it. You ready? Under. Forward. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at it again. Sorry, that was blurry. I just noticed that. Okay. Again, remember, hemp cord gets really stiff when you're knotting it. And then, see, it's doing it again. So you're going to want to pull that through. Okay, 
so now let's look at how the pearl looks now. See, it's going around. That's good. So now let's count how many knots we did. You might not, there you go. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So one, you're not counting the top one, the two top ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve knots worked for this bead. So you will practically use twelve knots for each pearl. I will try to stay in camera. But when you're working on something, I know I get into it a lot. So now, because we're finished, we are going to tie it together. Okay? I'm going to go like this. Backwards. And forward. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Okay, now you're going to look for the for your, ni your nylon cord that you're using and you're going to pull it. Because when you pull it, it was like this. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. It was like that. So when you pull it, you want it to hug it. You want to hug the pearl. Okay, now you're going to move your, your nylon cord. This is really important because then it won't do the S. You move your nylon cord to the right. Okay. I'm gonna pull that. And now we're gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna work on this side now. Backwards, forward, backwards, and forward, backwards, forward, See that? Now let's come to counting, counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine knots done. And ten, eleven, and twelve. You see how it's getting loose right there? All you have to do is just pull it. Even when you're finished with your bracelet completely, well, when you finish your bracelet before you do the end part, before you do this, I'm going to show you that when you pull this string, it's going to align all your pearls together. It's going to hug your pearls, the, 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 uh, the knitting that you've done. So it's going to hug it. It's gonna, ugh, you'll see. I don't know how to explain that. I'm horrible today. I really promised this video to someone that I, to to two, to three people actually. They've been wanting to learn how to make this, and I've been neglecting it because I know I don't know how to explain things. You're gonna add your pearl now, and. They're going to be confused and probably cracking up at me because I suck at explaining things. But, hey. Why not make fun of me? It's alright. Everybody does mistakes. Okay, now we're going to close it.
with a forward knot. Okay, a forward knot. And then, oh my god, this lighting is horrible. Forward knot and then a backwards knot. Okay. Now, as you can see, how loose that is. That's not pretty. So you're going to look for, for the nylon that you've been beating your pearls in. And you pull. There you go. Pretty! Pretty! Okay, I'm annoying. Okay, so now, you move your nylon cord where you're beating your pearls to the left. And then you will continue your braiding. This is going to be a forward knot. Forward knot. And then you're going to go backwards knot. Forward knot. Two, three, four. Backwards knot. Forward knot. Oh, forward knot. Make sure you don't have any knots because they do get in the way. And then you lose your concentration like I just did right now. It drives me insane. Okay, let's continue. So we have one, two, three, four, five. That was a backwards knot. This is a forwards knot. Six. Forward. Sorry, backwards. This is forward. Backwards. Sorry, I got another knot at the end of my hemp cord. So, this is how, if, let's say, you're doing your bracelet and then you get distracted and you forget that you did a forwards knot or a backwards knot. This is how I figure it out and this is how I how I can get back in track. So when you do a backwards knot, your knot will go up. You see that? It's facing upwards. And when you do a forwards knot, it's facing downwards. So I already did a backwards knot. So it's facing upwards. So now the next knot you're making is going to be your forward knot. As you can see, it's facing downwards. So now your next one is your forwards knot. Sorry, your backwards knot. Ooh. There you go. You see? So you'll never lose what knot you did. So now let's count because I think I did too many. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. One more. There you go. My favorite part of making this bracelet, it's when it's finished. Ha ha ha. I made a funny. Sorry, I'm a dork sometimes. There you go. You bid in your bead in. Your bead in. Bead in. Your pearl in. Oh, sorry. It's too late for me. What time is it? I had a Red Bull, so I'm probably hyper right now. I'm really hyperactive. So when I have a Red Bull, I go crazy. And I talk a lot. I talk a lot about weird things, I guess. Okay. Now we do our closing. Okay. 
and you look for your pearl that you're using to you move this, sorry, I was a brain fart. I was um, figuring out what, what was I doing. So, you grab your nylon cord, the one that you're beating, and you move it oh, out of the way. And you pull. Okay, now you continue. So, this is a forward knot that I've already done. So now I'm going to do a backwards knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really not liking the lighting. I would do my videos in the morning where there's beautiful light, but because I have toddlers, they will never let me make videos. They will take my stuff out of my table and start playing with it. So I have to wait until they're sleeping to work on these, so please accept my apology for horrible lighting. That's my excuse. Anyways, next bead. There we go. Pretty. Now. Okay, so now the bracelet is finished. 
Well, it's almost finished. Now we're going to work on the end part. And then I do this one right here. And this part right here, we're going to use the nylon cord. Make sure, before you start doing that, make sure it fits your your um your wrist. It fits mine just fine. Because this is going to add more to it. This is, um, I would say, 7 inch. Because if it goes around my, my wrist, it's 7 inches. Okay. So let's say you have a lot of gap on your bracelet. Okay. You don't want that. So you're going to grab the nylon cord that you use to braid your pearls and you're just going to pull it you're going to pull it and it's going to hug your pearls again you see? that's what I meant to say before but I don't know how to explain things sometimes anyways I hope you guys understand it and you guys can make your own bracelet okay. so now you're going to do your the closing part the last step of it. Ugh. <laughs> you're gonna clip it to your board right there, and you're gonna pull right there. You see that? You're gonna pull it. Now we are going to use your nylon cord, and you're just gonna do forward knot. forward knot. You're going to grab these two right here and you're going to do a forward knot together. Forward knot. Then you're going to do a backwards knot. Backwards. Backwards. And backwards. And then you're going to do a forward. Continue doing this until you get the size that you want. You don't have to do it short, you don't have to do it long. Or you can just keep it really tiny, depending on how long you want this little part right here. It's your choice. But I kind of want to do at least a half an inch long. I knew where my ruler is, I would show you. But I would have to just estimate it. And just continue doing it. I mean side to side. Zoom in a ton of bait. Okay. A little more. There you go. Nice and clean. And then from here, because we're done, we're going to cut these off and we're going to burn them. Yeah, we're going to burn this part right here. That's why I like nylon, because you don't need glue to complete it. You just have to burn it. And then you just, huh? Burned myself. Don't burn yourself, guys. I just did. But that's how you do it. Careful while you're doing that. I 
if you feel like it's going to fall apart, which I have a feeling it is, I use a little bit, just a tiny bit of fabric glue. It holds it really well. I hope this one's not open. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm just going to need a little drop right here. Well, that's a big drop. Just a tiny bit to hold it. And you squeeze. And you squeeze. Okay. Now that you're done with that part. Now, for me, you clip it back on your board. It's your choice if you want to if you want to add beads on the end, I really don't want to, so I'm just going to put a little knot. Double knot, actually. I don't need it that long. Okay, and that's how you finish this bracelet. I am so sorry that this video was so long. I'm sure your bracelet came out beautiful. This this was really fun, and I really didn't want to cut anything from it because it's all about learning from each other. And that's the reason why I made this video anyways. Go ahead and add me on Instagram. Tag me if you made this bracelet. I would love to see it. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. Bye, guys.